Hey, what's up, Nerdgasm fans? Jerry here, a.k.a. Barnacles, with another video for you today. Uh, I've been getting a lot of requests from watching my other videos uh, on how I got the Start button back here uh, in Windows 8. Um, as everybody probably already knows, in Windows 8, they removed the Start menu. It's completely gone. So there really isn't a concept of bringing it back. But there is a way to replace it. And uh, I will go over that for you in this video. There's a company called Stardock, and they've actually been around for a really long time. You can check them out at stardock.com. And they've been one of those companies that they develop pretty much everything, Mishmash. They do games and all kinds of stuff. But they also had a division that was pretty much dedicated to modding Windows. Um, back in, like, Windows 7, Windows XP, Windows Vista, they created programs like Windows Blinds that let you, like, completely theme the desktop and change the entire look and feel of the operating system. And uh, they were one of the only companies I saw that was able to do it legally, meaning that they actually had the support of Microsoft um, on some level because uh, to use themes and stuff like that, you had to be signed, and they actually were. So they have come out with a program called Start 8, which you can see here on my desktop, and I'll go ahead and pull the web page over for you guys. Uh, this uh, this web page right here, this is Stardock.com, products, whack, Start 8. And if you come in here, you can just download it. There's a, there's a demo version that you can download and use for a couple of days, but then you have to buy it. And if you want to buy it, I think it's like $4.99. It's, it's very inexpensive. I know that. So, it's yeah, it's $4.99. Or you can buy Object Desktop, which is all their programs, but a lot of them, uh, a, a lot of the really cool stuff like Windows Blinds and stuff down here uh, doesn't work for Windows 8. Um, hopefully at some point it will, but who knows. So let's get back to the Start 8 program. So it's really easy to install. Once you install it, you get this right here. This is the configuration window. And it allows you to do a lot of stuff. First and foremost, you can change the icon. You can even use a custom image down here if you want. So uh, me, I just opted to keep with the flag from Windows 8 just because I think it looks cooler. But you can even have your own custom image. Um, you can do some translucency stuff so that the menus semi see through. You can see my background wallpaper through it. You can see it looks identical to the Windows 7 menu, and they actually did a phenomenal job. It even shows the last opened applications, um, shows tasks over here, the programs traversal, all works really, really well. And it feels identical in every single way. I, I honestly haven't felt any difference between this and the Windows 7 start menu. And also search works, you know, notepad, it's very, very fast, and it works as you would expect it to. So, and it even has the icon up here, which is me and my son, um, associated with the profile. So it's, it's actually, uh, it is a replacement, but at the same time, they cloned it perfectly. I mean, you will not notice the difference. The other thing that's cool about it is it even hooks the Windows key. So when I push the Windows key on the keyboard here, it brings up the menu instead of bringing up the modern shell, which I really like. Um, a lot of the other start menu replacement applications I've seen, they just add another little program icon somewhere down here in the task tray and it just uh, it, it, it doesn't really do justice I I prefer it like this um, with the Windows key another thing it allows you to do if you go down here under configuration is uh, you can basically change all the options of how the start menu you know uh, acts and looks and feels um, you can even configure it way more than the Windows 7 start menu that you had before which I think is cool because if you're gonna replace something why not make it better uh, now you can also come in here with the control stuff. You can say, okay, start button shows Windows 8. You can also change what the individual Windows key do. You can change the right-click behavior. Right now I have it bound to bring up... Uh, oh, well, actually, that's an interesting bug. It opened it up on the wrong screen. I've been playing with NVIDIA and swapping around the screens, and I think I confused it. But it brings up the same menu as if you did uh, Windows key Z, which brings up like that little sub-menu that has power options, device manager, disk management, basically all the administrative tools on one little context menu, which is really, really cool. Um, if you come down here to the desktop, you can also configure translucency and stuff like that. Uh, and I like this too. You can hide modern UI applications from Windows 7 style menu. I enabled this. And what this does is all the modern applications are hidden from this menu down here. So you don't have them popping up in here as your recently visited applications and stuff. Because, uh, of course, when you open a modern application, it pretty much takes over the whole UI. Um, and then automatically go to desktop when I sign in, which I really like. So you don't even have to look at the modern shell. It basically just logs in Windows, boom, you're on the desktop, feels just like Windows 7. Uh, there's also this advanced box, and this is cool because this is the only program I've seen that allows you to do this. You can disable the, the mouse corner stickiness, which is... Uh, you know, the charms bar usually comes out in Windows 8 if you put your mouse close to the side of the screen or the multi-select uh, application bar that they have there, like the task manager. 
or sorry, not task manager, but your task switcher. Uh, both of those are disabled. And then if you transition on a multi-monitor setup across the monitors, normally your mouse gets stuck right here and you have to pull it down a little bit and move it over. Now it's a fluid transition. It disables those spots. So this is the only application I've seen that does that. Um, and then the show win X menu when you're right clicking. And that's the one I tried to show you earlier. I'm sorry it didn't work, but that was actually my fault for screwing around with the NVIDIA order of the monitors. But the Windows X menu, which still comes up on the wrong screen. So that's actually a Windows problem, not this thing. But uh, but it's the only thing I've seen that gives you that level of configurability over it. And it's all completely, you can navigate it with the mouse and keyboard. Like I said, looks and feels identical. Open up the control panel. Uh, it, it works fantastic. So, I mean, there's not a really whole lot more I want to go into beyond that. It's a very performant application. It doesn't have a lot of overhead. Um, it seems even more responsive than the Windows 7 start menu. So, if you're not going up to Windows 8 purely because of the start menu not being there and you being forced to use the modern application interface, which seems to be the general consensus on the Internet with the gripes is that the modern shell just it, it feels like two operating systems. Well, you can still run Windows 8 and keep it pretty much a desktop operating system and never see the modern shell again with a couple tweaks to like uh, file type associations and things like that. And after using Windows 8 for about a about a week now, not quite, uh, I haven't had any compatibility issues. I haven't had a single crash and I've had a lot of really good success with uh, better performance. The desktop seems to render better. The desktop seems smoother. Transitioning in and out of DirectX games and stuff that are full screen seem to be a lot faster and a lot smoother and less clunkier than it was in Windows 7. Um, the resource consumption on the system is a lot lower. The system boots drastically faster. I think my system from the time it flips over from post to sitting at the login screen is maybe like eight eight or ten seconds and then I'm on the desktop and like two more seconds after I log in. I mean it is blistering quick. And the other plus side is if you have uh, if you have a custom built computer like I do, I have an Asus uh, Rampage five extra Rampage four extreme motherboard and uh, it's never hibernated right in Windows seven. If you try to hibernate or sleep and you wake the system up, it just either bug checks or hangs. And in Windows 8, sleep actually works now. I can actually let my machine go to sleep. I can come back, move the mouse, boom, I'm instantaneously back at my logon screen. Um, it's pretty badass. So, guys, go ahead and give the Start 8 a try and check out Stardock. They also create some other applications for Windows 8. One of them is called Decorate. So if you do like the modern shell and you're a big fan of the tiled interface and all that good stuff, um, you can use Decorate to basically change the backgrounds, put in custom backgrounds, do parallax scrolling and stuff. And uh, y you, can, you can do some pretty cool stuff with that. So, guys, I hope this video gave you a nerdgasm. Let me know if you still like these types of videos. Um, they're pretty quick for me to, to fire up and get out to you guys, which is nice because I don't always have a lot of time but i love to hear your feedback so please let me know and uh until next time